In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the coming solemnity of your Son may bestow healing upon us in this present life and bring us the rewards of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet, Isaiah. I am the Lord, there is no other. I form the light and create darkness. I make well-being and create woe. I, the Lord, do all these things. Let justice descend, O heaven, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let justice also spring up. I, the Lord, have created this. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, there is no other. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God. There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. I, the Lord, in the Lord, shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Let the clouds rain down the just one and the earth bring forth a savior. Let the crowds lay down the just one, and the earth bring forth its savior. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is the salvation of those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. The Lord himself will give him benefits, Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a savior. Alleluia, alleluia. Raise your voice and tell the good news. Behold, the Lord God comes with power. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? When the men came to the Lord, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? At that time, Jesus cured many of their diseases, sufferings, and evil spirits. He also granted sight to many who were blind. And Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise if you get the opportunity to go to Birmingham, uh, Alabama, uh, you can see the um, this uh, wonderful monument, this wonderful uh, remembrance of um, the uh, fight for racial justice. And the memorial marks those who died uh, seeking that justice, among them Martin Luther King. And it has as an inscription on it, it's, it's, a, it's a curious kind of structure. It's just this round disc and you see this water is just flowing over the top of it and overflowing over the edge. And it says, let justice descend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. This idea that this justice comes in this way. Now, it has a particular meaning, of course, at this particular site in Birmingham. But it also means for us and should be a sign for us of the Messiah and his coming. Because this is one of the things that is promised when the Messiah comes, that this justice would be present and would be overflowing. Just a uh, beautiful expression of, of uh, God's goodness to us in the Messiah who is, who is to come. That very question about the Messiah is what we see in the gospel for today. John, and one could understand why he might be a bit discouraged, he's in jail right now, um, and he, has to, he can't go and see for himself who, what Jesus is doing, who Jesus is. And so he sends these, uh, some of his disciples over to see Jesus. And it is interesting that Jesus doesn't say, well, go back and tell him I'm the Messiah. He doesn't do that. Instead, he points to all of these things that, he's, or, that he is doing that were prophesied, that were in the Old Testament, saying this is what's going to happen when the Messiah Comes. So what does he say? Well, the blind regain their sight, the lame walk, uh, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, dead are raised, the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And that should be the real kicker right there, that last line. Because the first part has to do with healing, and as important as healings are in the life of Jesus, as he demonstrates his power as God, as he shows his great compassion, for these people that he heals, that last line is also something that the Messiah is supposed to bring. Good news to the poor. Good news. So Jesus is really trying to hammer home this idea with John's disciples. And they're going to send them back and they're going to say, these are all the things that are happening. And so use what you know and see that he is the Messiah. I suppose the difficulty of all of this is that the Jews knew their scriptures through and through. They knew that all of these things that he was doing were signs of the Messiah, and yet they were not willing to accept him as that, as Messiah. And that is, uh, well, it's sad, but certainly more than that. 
Uh, but for us today, it should be encouragement for us. We just had Rose Sunday, Gaudete Sunday uh, a few days ago, realizing that we're more than halfway to Christmas now in the Advent season. It's uh, these, these other signs, these other things that are happening that we hear about in the Gospel should give us more joy, more joy in not just the good that these things are, that all these healings are, but that the Messiah is coming. Messiah is with us. As we receive Eucharist then this, uh, this afternoon, let's ask the Lord to um, help us to receive him well, to receive him as the one that heals, as the one that brings good news. And may we also share that, that good news, the good news that, that we receive. May we, um, in our actions of spreading the good news, um, bring good more and more people to accept Jesus as the Messiah. And so let's pray. We're asking for urgent prayers for Chad uh, Clements. For, uh, we ask prayers also for uh, Dan Branch and for Ted Jordan. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We uh, offer the Mass today for Jane Benedetto. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we continue to pray for comfort and healing for Marie, Barb Mee, Anthony Settle, Madison Placencia, Christine Williams, Karen Metcalf, Jimmy Dean Paris, Sandra and Gary Coggins, uh, Sherry Riley, Jerry Brower, and Jean Marr. We pray to the Lord. For the leaders of our communities, that they may work to foster and uphold the dignity of all life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Um, any other prayers you'd like to offer? Lord, hear our prayer. 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 Loving God, you are present with us always. May our eyes and hearts be opened to seeing your ways. You are working here and now. May we be signs of your healing presence and love to others through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. 
it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming, the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joan of Arc, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
behold, our Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.